Performance benchmarks for AMD's highly anticipated second generation Ryzen 2700X flagship CPU just leaked. This new CPU is already shipping and expected to go on sale in mid-April. The Ryzen 7 2700 is AMD's new flagship 8-core CPU part for the AM4 socket, and it effectively replaces both the Ryzen 7 1700X and 1800X by delivering higher performance than the 1800X at a price even cheaper than what the 1700X launched at. The Ryzen 7 2700 delivered a physics score of 20,909 in Firestrike Ultra 1.1 which is 18% ahead of the Ryzen 7 1700X at 17,825 and 11% ahead of the Ryzen 7 1800X at 1951, 19,051. In all three 3D Mark entries, the Ryzen 7 2700X was running at a clock speed above 4.2 GHz, fluctuating between 4264 MHz and 4214 MHz, which no doubt helped, pull, helped it pull ahead of both its Ryzen 7 predecessors. The CPU was paired with two 8GB DDR4-2400 memory modules, which is considerably shy of the chipset's new officially supported JDEC DDR4 spec of 2933, but does show uh, good improvements when compared to the previous generation processors. We've been digging around for the details regarding performance improvements that AMD has implemented in its second generation family of Ryzen CPUs, and we've got a few interesting bits of information from our sources to share. First, the clock speeds. Second generation Ryzen CPUs will on average run at clock speed 400 megahertz higher than its predecessor, largely thanks to a more mature and fine-tuned process, as well as the more advanced turbo and XFR technology implementations and algorithms. In terms of overclocking, we're told that Ryzen 7 2700X will reliably overclock to 4.4 gigahertz as compared to the current 4.0 to 4.1 gigahertz limits that most people run into when overclocking their first gen Ryzen 7. It's worth noting though that the first gen Ryzen 7 was said to have uh, be anticipating a 4.2 gigahertz overclock, so in all honesty and fairness in this one, I'm probably going to expect between 4.2 and 4.3 just to be on the safe side. AMD has spent a lot of time working on improving memory support as well as fine tuning the cache of the Zen core itself. On the cache side, there has been some small improvements in the latencies of the L3 and L2 cache. However, on the memory side, the controller will now be able to support DDR4 modules with a JDAC speed rating of up to 2933 right out of the box, as opposed to the 2400 MHz on the first Ryzen generation parts. Additionally, because the JDAC standard follows strict specifications to ensure cross-vendor compatibility, it means that Ryzen 2000 series CPUs will be able to run DDR4 RAM kits that support AMP and XMP ratings higher than 2933. We are told that second generation Ryzen parts will reliably run 3600 MHz RAM on high-end motherboards coupled with BDI Samsung memory. You will even be able to rock 4000 MHz of DDR4 RAM, but I would imagine that this particular set of numbers and expectations are going to be limited to the new 400 series chipsets as they are going to be built more specifically tailored to these chips. All in all, the Ryzen 2000 series parts look to bring a very nice all-around improvement in terms of performance, power efficiency, and features, and most importantly, bang for your buck. So let us know what you have to say so far about what we found out about the upcoming Ryzen 2000 series CPUs. Are you excited? Are you meh? Or, well, could you care less? This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.